Gravekeeper Albert Hatcher is the only one who saw how my body left the cemetery. And whatever it was broke his sanity. Questioning a madman might not be easy, but it's the only lead you have. The Gravekeeper Albert Hatcher to this poor fellow Albert Hatcher. What did he see to make him lose his mind utterly? Surely losing a corpse he had buried is a black mark on his record. But something much worse must have happened. You must question the man at Arkham Asylum. That place has a sinister reputation. The longer he remains there, the less chance his mind will ever recover. Mental disease is the worst fate I can imagine. Thankfully, it isn't infectious. Is it? I can't imagine a gloomier place than this asylum. Let's ask someone where to find this gravekeeper, Albert Hatcher. <laughs> Here's a map of the asylum. Let's see where everything is. First floor, isolation ward. Second floor, recreation. The floors above are divided by different types of illness. The doctor's offices are at the top. Look at this note taped to the basement. There's a broken boiler down there. It seems Albert Hatcher has been moved to the isolation ward. He was moved because of violent behavior? Perhaps it's best he remains in the asylum. Don't forget this telegram. According to the sender, others have shown symptoms like his. We should investigate. This problem goes beyond a single mad gravekeeper. Oh, <laughs> 
Scheiße. Something's wrong here. It feels like my ears want to pop. You're right. I've felt pressure in my head since we walked in the door. What's wrong with these inmates? There's something wronger than usual about these patients. They're acting like wild animals. Be careful what you say. That one heard you. I don't think he liked what you said. Neither did his friends. They're coming straight at us! What's all this clamor? Did you attack that patient? We were just defending ourselves. They attacked us. They weren't acting normal. I mean, they were all acting the same kind of abnormal. Almost like they weren't in control of their actions. While perhaps too simple for medical use, your diagnosis seems correct. I must concur. This is not the sort of behavior we've come to expect from these patients. Judging by your clothes, I'd say you're a doctor here. 
My name is Carolyn Fern. While I have admitting privileges, no, I am not on staff. What's going on here? I know little more than you. When I arrived to see Dr. Mintz, I noticed a strange pattern of behavior among the inmates. At first they appeared timid, but soon even the meekest among them grew agitated, aggressive. The center of the activity is in the isolation ward. Speaking of which, what are you doing here? We're friends of Professor Wilhelmina Tillingist, whose body was stolen the night Albert Hatcher had his breakdown. We want to ask Hatcher a few questions. I doubt he'll be coherent, but perhaps I can help. Besides, I want to understand the cause of this disturbance among the patients. Just promise me you'll be gentle with them. We could certainly use your help, and there's safety in numbers. Let us hope that this new addition to your group will help discover what happened to the Gravekeeper, as well as to these poor unfortunate souls in the asylum. <laughs> So much blood! This man is beyond help. What was that noise? It came from down the hall. Over there!
What on earth is that? That thing? It can't be real. What is this strange creature? Some sort of natural mutation? Studying it could reveal heretofore unknown truths above the... Ah, uh, but perhaps now is not the time. It looks impossible, but part of it is, or was, human. I can hardly believe we beat that... that thing. Its skin is hard as steel. I can barely stand to look at it. It makes me feel like I'm going mad. Be careful. I'm afraid that thing might still be alive. There must be some clue about where it came from in the asylum. Maybe we can find some way to get rid of it. Wait. Do you hear that? Someone is sobbing in a nearby room. There. The operating room. We should see who it is.
Scheiße, ich
These notes indicate the creature is actually Albert Hatcher, the Gravekeeper. How is that possible? I've never even read of a disease that could cause such a radical physical transformation. Was there a contamination? Or is this a natural process in the creature's life cycle? I guess we won't be getting any answers from the Gravekeeper. <laughs>